Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a real verse fake for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Here's the fake, and here's the real. As you can see, there's a very large color difference between both of the palettes. The fake one is a very pink color, while the real one is more of a lilac kind of color. Both of the palettes are about the same size, but the real one, this writing across here, this is slightly lifted off the rest of the packaging. You might be able to slightly tell like that, but otherwise you can't really tell on camera. And the bottom logo, where it says Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is indented into the packaging. Well, on the fake, the writing at the top, this is not lifted at all. It's a completely smooth surface, and this is not indented at all. On the back, they both have the barcodes here and down in that corner there, but the colour between both of them, like the printing wise for the picture of what the inside of the palette looks like, one is a lot more high quality. This is the real, this is very high quality, and it's printed on like a kind of sticker, so it's not a matte finish, it's actually a silky finish. This one's just a straight matte finish, and as you can see, the colour difference is very noticeable. Also, something else I just noticed, that this is the, like, so this is the right way around, but once you turn it around, this is actually upside down, if you know what I mean. So you have to flip it around this way to see everything straight like that. Also, the printing on both of these for the writing is very different. There's a lot of bold letters in the real, and the same letters and words in the fake but not bolded. You might be able to slightly see that. But there's also a lot more writing on this, and as you can see, there's like a straight cutoff here with the writing, while well, this one is just completely jumbled up. It doesn't have any straight finish. Um, the next noticeable, slightly less noticeable difference, but it's definitely noticeable, is that this has no code down here, while the real one does have a code down here. And it says, E7BA. Next we'll go on to the actual part where you open it. So on the reel you can see that this has like a little tab across here that you can pull to open it and there is no like little side flaps if you know what I mean. I'll show you on the fake. So this one as you can see there's the little side flap here and you have to actually stick your fingers inside to open it which is a lot harder to open and it risks you ripping the packaging. Another difference is that there was four symbols here to show what is like good about this palette, I guess. So there's like a cruelty-free, recyclable, six months before it like expires, and there's this little, I don't know, it looks like a little manual kind of thing, if you can see that. But the fake does not have that. It's only the three. Now I'm gonna open these little boxes and I'm gonna show you what the inside looks like. So here's what the actual palette looks like. This is the fake once again, and this is the real. As you can see on the fake, it's once again the wrong colour. And this part is uh, not indented or raised, and neither is the Anastasia Beverly Hills logo. On the real, it's a different story. This writing here and the logo is are both indented into the palette. And the colour is obviously very different. The sizes are quite similar. Um, but there's another very noticeable difference with both of the palettes. As you can see, this is a, it's like a different kind of material. It's like a velvet material, while this one's just a complete, like, piece of plastic. It's, that's what it sounds like. This is what that one sounds like. This is a lot heavier than the fake. On the back, there's no spelling mistakes on the fake. And it's the same thing with that little code. There's a code indented onto this. If you can see there, it just catches the light a little bit. On the fake, there's no code once again. Also, as you can tell, there's a lot of random bolded things, and on the reel, there is not the same thing. This is also a matte black surface. This is a satin black. You can tell because the light reflects it. This does not reflect the light. And it's the same with those four little logos down in the corner. The fake one does not have the fourth logo. I'm not sure if it's a logo, I don't know what it's called. It's just, I don't know, an information thing. 
Now I'm going to show you the inside of the palettes. I have swatched both of these and I have tried the real one on my eyes for a previous video. So we'll start off with what the real one looks like on the inside. So first you get this little protective slip and you get this little mirror protector, this little tab to take it off here. You get a little brush in it as well, if you can see the brush there. And those are what the shades look like. As you can see, I've already used this shade. I actually didn't use it very heavily at all. It's just got a lot of kickback for some reason, especially that shade. This is what the fake looks like. Once again, it has this little protective slip as well. It has got the brush with it, but these are what the shades look like. As you can see, they're quite different to what the real looks like. I'll hold them up side to side so you can get a better reference of what the color difference is. So here's what the real looks like and here's what the fake looks like. As you can see, this one is a lot more pigmented than the fake and the colors are slightly off. Um, a lot more shades in the fake are shimmery. For example, this brown shade in the top corner, that's a matte shade in the real palette. But in this one, it's a lot lighter of a shade. It's more of like a, I'd say like white and orange, kind of. And it is actually a shiny reflect. Uh, it's got some glitter in it. It is not a matte color. And also the colors are obviously very different. I don't believe that there's any spelling mistakes, but another thing to note is that for the writing of the actual names of it, they're not reflective, they're just printed on them. They're in like a kind of like orangey kind of color as well. On the real palette, it's written in gold and it's lightly indented into the palette. The next thing is on the real, the logo is written up here next to the mirror. Well, on the fake, it is written between the little bends of the palette, if you can see there. And also, for some reason, there's just this weird piece of tape, like duct tape at the top, right here, so like hold in the mirror. There was nothing to protect the mirror, there was no like little slip thing <laughs> that the real one has. And the inside of this is actually pink as well, some parts of it, well, the real does not have any pink on the inside, it's fully black. Now we're going to look at the brushes. This is the real brush here. As you can see, there's a little, a little brush here, and then there's a more puffed out brush here. For the fake one, the brush is slightly longer, and they still have the puffed out side here, and this side is actually a concealer kind of brush. It's not like what the other one is, if you look at them side by side, like this. This one is the real over this side. Also, you can see the length difference between them. The logos on each of them are also different. The top one is the fake one. It's also got this little Anastasia Beverly Hills logo printed on there, but the real one does not have that logo printed on. Now I'm going to try them on my eyes and see if the colours are actually that much different from each other and if the pigmentation is equal between both palettes. I don't have very high hopes for the fake one based on what it looks like at the moment, but I'm still going to give it a try for your sake. So I've just zoomed you guys in a little bit more so you can see my eyes more clearly. I've already set my base with a NYX eyeshadow primer and I've gone over that to set it properly with a designer brand's firming age revive press powder that I've also used in a previous video. So I'm going to leave this side to the real and I'm going to leave this side to the fake. I'm also going to be using the brushes just to give them a little bit of a try as well. So I'm not too sure what to start with just because on the real the mattes are actually shimmers in the fake. So I think the only safe color to to go with on both of them will probably be golden ochre. So this is what it looks like on the real, this yellowy kind of color, and this is what it looks like on the fake, it's more of a beige kind of color. And this is a matte color for this palette. It's got a little bit of shimmer in the real palette, but we'll just have to deal with that. So I'm going to be trying these two brushes, the fake and the real just to go through my crease and then I'm going to be going onto my own brushes. So 
I'm going to start off with the real side. I'm going to get a bit of the golden ochre. And there's a lot of fallout already. Just by tapping it twice. I just did two little taps. And you can see that where my brush has been already. So I'm just going to put that into my crease. Just to help with blending a little bit. As you can see, that's actually oxidized quite a lot, so I'm just going to clean off my brush quickly and I'm just going to do that a little bit more. So as you can see, that definitely oxidized quite a lot on this eye for some reason. I'm not sure why. This is on the real palette as well and it's got a lot of fallout. I've been tapping it off my brush every single time. I take a little bit and there's just stuff all over my desk now. So now I'm going to go with the fake on this eye. These colours are actually very chalky, like I've tapped in like maybe five times and this is all the pigmentation that got picked up by the brush and that is what the colour looks like here. As you can see there's not much of an indentation on it at all but it definitely is like flaking up and it's kind of like a weird looking kind of like flake, it's like, like it looks like little tiny hairs are coming off of it which is worrying. So I'm going to be going in with the darker colour now and I'm going to be using the shade Real Gar. Excuse me for my pronunciation, these shades are actually very hard to pronounce. That is the colour in the Real. I'm going to be putting that into my crease and once again I'm just going to give the brush that came with it, this is the Real brush, I'm going to give that a try again. And once again I just did three taps on this and it's already got so much fallout. This brush is actually pretty hard, but that that basically just goes with any palette. You have the not really the best quality brushes in there just because you're paying for the palette, not the brush. Now I'm going to go in with the same shade on the fake palette, which is a real gar. I'm going to be using the fake brush as well. So that's what I picked up. I'm going to tap off a little bit. This is a very weirdly shaped brush because it's like, it's flat at the end while the real one is a dome shape. So getting this into my crease isn't going to be the easiest job. Okay, so there's a lot less pigmentation but something is happening. And for some reason these like little white looking dots are showing up and I'm not sure why. And there actually is a lot of fallout for this fake palette as well. So that's something those palettes can relate to. So this shade is definitely buildable, but it will take quite a while to build up to the same pigmentation as this eye. Next I'm going to be going in with a bit of a darker colour just to deepen my crease a little bit. And actually I just realised that there isn't really much of a darker colour on this palette. I think the only real option I have is probably like raw sienna, even though that's a bit of like a yellow tone colour on the other palette, but I'm just going to give it a try despite really not liking it. I'm going to get some raw sienna and I'm going to put that on the brush to deepen my crease, even though this is not going to deepen it at all. I'm going to go in on the other side with the same brush. I'm going to go in the shade raw sienna. So that shade had literally no pigmentation on the fake. Once again, not much of a surprise. So there's obviously a very big difference between both of these palettes. I also have a dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette that a lot of people have been talking about. So if you want to see that, watch till the very end of the video. Next, I'm going to go in with... Uh, I'm going to go in with Love Letter and I'm going to put that on my lid again and I'm going to put a, a tiny bit on my outer V and this is what it looks like on the fake palette as well. This is Love Letter which is the same shade. It's actually a shimmer in the fake palette though which is very annoying but I'm just going to have to deal with it. But I'm just going to go on with the other eye now, and I'm going to be using this, the same shade, Love Letter. That's pigmentation on the fake one. I'm going to use that on my outer V first. 
So as you can see, this eye is very, very natural looking. I just did basically the exact same thing, same thing on both eyes. I don't really want to put any more on this side just because the colors are a bit weird. So because of the color choices on both the eyes, because I was trying to make them work, they kind of just blended into like a very similar color as you can see. It's very weird. I'm going to put a bit of highlight underneath my brow and I'm going to be using the shade Vermeer from both the palettes. So this is a real Vermeer got a shimmer in it as well, if you can see that, I'm not too sure. And the meal on the fake palette is also shimmery as well. This one's a little more gold toned, this one's more like white toned. So I just put a little bit of warm top on my lower lash line and I realized that the real palette is actually magnetic when it closes. That's not supposed to come out but the fake is not magnetic. So here's the final look. As you can see, this side is a lot more pigmented than this side, this side being the real, this side being the fake, again. Um, I definitely prefer the real palette. Don't like this side at all, just because the colors are like very strange and shimmery, like a large majority of the colors in the fake palette were shimmery, which was a very negative, note for me, I guess. Um, but the real palette is just better on every single level, so I mean if you really wanted this palette I would definitely suggest getting the real, just because the fake is not worth the money. I only got the, the fake for about like $10 or something like that, so really not worth the $10 even then. Buy yourself some cha time sushi. Save the $10 for something else, just don't spend it on this eyeshadow palette if you're looking for a good quality eyeshadow palette. I actually got a bit of my eye so I'm like going blind and I'm probably gonna have to like rinse out my eye after this but that's what I do for you guys. The dupe of this palette is the Berries palette by BYS and it's actually a very good dupe as you can see on my arms. The shades are very similar this being a uh, real and this is a dupe. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked the video. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and comment on what your favorite part of the video was and ideas for the next video. Bye.